travel just five miles west from Newark, New Jersey, and you'll find yourself in the middle of the Valley Arts District, a 15-block neighborhood known as the Valley, between the two towns of Orange and West Orange. In the mid-2000s, a local nonprofit organization called HANDS, which stands for Housing and Neighborhood Development Services, worked with Seton Hall University to kickstart a different kind of arts district, one with a mission to preserve and develop affordable housing for old and new residents as it evolves. Silicon Valley works because of concentration of, of talent, and art district works because of concentration of talent. Here in the Valley, our outreach and our discussions led to a desire and a need for an arts district, and we helped create the arts district we built much of the infrastructure, and we're working to support the people who live here and make sure that it's permanently affordable, both for the new residents and the old. I came here immediately. People were interested in my furniture designs, interested in my space designs, and had my stuff in galleries and exhibits, so I think it's wonderful. And I want to see that continue for other artists and designers and fashion designers and, you know, just creatives in general. We recently visited some of the district's pioneers, starting at the Valley Arts Headquarters, home of the Artful Bean Cafe. My name is Jeremy Moss. I'm Deputy Director of Valley Arts. I'm also an artist, teacher, and supporter of the arts. To me, people coming up with ideas is what we're going to survive on, and it's very creative. You know, people can have the smallest thought and come to us and say, can I do that, is it possible? Around this time last year, the courtyard behind the Valley Arts office was used by Broadway's Leslie Kritzer to shoot her taco-themed endorsement of Hillary Clinton. Everyone's a taco, vote for the taco. Shit, I every corner sounds absolutely delicious. You have to bring in the artists and you have to make it a place that they can live, work and, and play. The Valley Arts Live, Work, Play formula is being tested out right now at The Presence, a working garment atelier founded by Khalid Semper, who left a long career at a corporate investment bank for fashion. With the help of designer Alicia Bailey, he created this amazing workspace for his company in the Valley Arts District. Well, we start with loose tea or ginger tea. I like to cook for staff before any chefs come in. Music is playing, and I always try to pull something new, whether it be jazz, whether it be West Indian music, whether it be Latin music, classical music, just to really set the mood, like, okay, we're gonna push today. And I'll pull out garments that we've already finished and start to look at them and consider how can we do better? You know, the atelier is bigger than a workshop. It is truly a creative space. It's just beautiful music, and I'm grateful for that. Right now, there are about 200 artists either working or living and working in the Valley Arts District, and it's home to several arts organizations. Arts Unbound was the first, founded in 2000. Arts on Bound was one of the anchors here. It was actually the first organization to move into the Valley. They are an organization that work with artists with disabilities and with seniors. Basically, what we believe is that the opportunity to be a working artist is something that should be available to anyone, regardless of disability or impairment or mobility. And there's so many barriers to becoming a working artist to begin with. I love that the artists that come here contribute here, that they lend their time, their creativity, in some cases their actual physical labor of making art to help this community out. I think that's a, a lovely give and take. Community means lots of things to lots of people. But for us, it is individuals working together for a common benefit. We're about empowering residents to make the community of their choice. And that requires a level of investment of people, of energy, of, of dreams. To see other people 
really living out their passions and trying you know really hard to make a career of it is very inspiring to me so I I just love to converse with them I just love to see what they're doing I love to come over here to the presence and feel the energy and um, it just makes me more creative and that's what makes it so interesting to me because we'll be a part of the development of something great. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts, encouraging excellence and public engagement in the arts since 1966, is proud to co-produce State of the Arts with Stockton University, New Jersey's distinctive public university.